Every Monday, we look forward to this man's chatter, laughter, and music. Two men in a song choice battle. Situation Melody Maja. Maja. Hi, Tail. Hello. Can you say hi to our listeners? Hello, everybody. Did you miss me? Yes, I did miss you, Tail. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, how was your week? It was good. It was good. Any, yeah. Anything exciting? New? Nothing exciting. You know, it's just the weather. The weather. That's oh. the biggest thing for me. I yes. think it's one of my biggest moving factors that, you know, like, <laughs> move me, in essence. You know, when the weather's nice, I'm nice. When it's <laughs> not, I'm kind of grumpy, you know? <laughs> Tia, do you have, like, a life motto? Like, I, you know? I do. You do? Oh, what I, is there, motto? It's something that I try to think of every day. Um, basically, it's really simple. You know, nothing like, wow, that's so cool. It's just simply, you work hard, study hard, play hard. Mm, that's a good life motto, uh -huh. I think. Because you, you try to keep everything in balance, right? So right. the harder you work, the harder you should play, and the harder you should study as well. Right. Uh, for me, you know, honestly, like, I don't know if I have a life motto, to mm -hmm. be honest. Uh -huh. um, I think I'm, like, the kind of guy that just kind of, like, like goes with the flows of things, like flow of things. It's just, it's just like, kind of like whatever happens happens. Like, You're like water, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm Let just, I'm just like Let's whatever go. happens happens. <laughs> so you know, I don't think I have a life motto. The cool guy. <laughs> All right, guys. Before we get to our situation for today, let's find out our penalty first. Let's tally up our score first. And today the score is five five. We're at a tie right now. We're at a draw. We're not going to be, but, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> you know, our judges for today, our music access producer and engineer, the two will be judging which song fits the situation better, fair and square. The scores will be kept closed. And today's penalty is writing a poem full of admiration and love for the winner. Wow. Mm, that's a little corny. <laughs> how, how are we going to come up with a poem? Oh, you know, I'm not sure, actually. Um... Do you remember another penalty we had to do? What was the penalty we had to do last time? Yeah, I have no idea. I think it was um, actually I don't remember. <laughs> I remember I did something though. Um, I don't remember the penalty though. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you remember like when we had to like sing like a serenade for each other and like? Oh, uh, like, perhaps it's kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I don't know this. Uh, what do you think of today's penalty? I don't know if I can do a poem. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, guys, <laughs> let's move on to our situation for today then. Teo, can you tell us what it is? All right. So, you know, um, a lot of people have part-time jobs. Right, right, right. And, you know, while you're going to school, it can be for, uh, you know, school tuition or books or whatever. But you can also have uh, a part-time job because you have, like, a goal. I'm right. going to work for this long, save up this much money, and I'm going to go on a nice trip just for myself, right? Right, right, right. So that's what happened. I saved up money. Right. I have all this money saved up now to go to wherever you want to go. Because it's summer, right? Right. And so it's the day the flight is leaving, and I'm all excited. I'm like, yeah. I wake up in the morning. Flight's at 9. I wake up at 9. Oh, no. I'm done. That is not good. Because I know, like, if you're traveling abroad, mm -hmm. you know, you're supposed to be at there for at least two hours before your flight. Exactly. To check in and stuff. Mm hmm Oh, but, like, basically, the, su the situation is you woke up as the plane was ready to take off. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, have you ever uh, had to, like, cancel something really important because you woke up? You know, not just, like, pl like flights, but, you know, just, like, meetings or, like, anything in general. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, um, sometimes you forget to put things into your planner, right? Right, right, right. And <clears throat> if, if it's something that you're starting anew yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're just not accustomed to you're, you you just kind of forget the day right, before you're right. like it's just another day i don't have to wake up early but when in fact you had something in the morning right and th let me ask you are you a morning person oh you know um i'm not the biggest morning person but mm -hmm. i wake up easily like oh wow i'm a very light sleeper so let's say i was sleeping in my room mm -hmm. and someone came into my room and just was like staring at me like i would wake up oh They're, like i've had a lot of that like my members are like like, yo, like, you're weird. Like, why do you wake up? Like, how did you wake up? Like, I don't know. Like, Yeah, like that sixth sense or something. I don't know. Huh? It's like people, like, <laughs> like if I'm sleeping, like, looking at the wall mm -hmm. and, like, there's someone behind me, like, just, like, staring at me. It's like, there's, like, that feeling. You like, know? Like, someone's, like, looking at me. Like, I have that feeling. So it's like, what, what, what's going on? So yeah, I, it's like, kind of freaky. Like, yeah, and, like, the <laughs> alarm, like, I don't think there's ever been an instance where I haven't, like, heard my alarm in the morning. That you're a lucky guy. But, like... 
The bad thing is I'm very lazy. Oh. So I'll match like 20 alarms the night before and like I'll wake <laughs> up 20 I'll wake up 20 times I'll, I'll turn all of them off and go back to bed cuz I'm no, so tired. I'll have to send you an application that I use. Really? Yeah, you have to solve math problems to show up. Pretty good. No, but what <laughs> I what I was always curious about those like apps like what happens if you can't solve it? Does it just keep going on? It just keeps going on. What if like you really don't know the answer and like you, you, it just keeps going on? Really? Really? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. Anyway, so, uh, traveling abroad. Yes. And you lose your flight. You wake up at the time of your flight. Right. What would you do? Right. Guys, our situation for today, as Taylor said, you saved up for months for a backpacking trip to another country. On the day of departure, you wake up at 9, but your flight has already left at 9. Let's talk about our song choices. Tail, what song did you choose and why? Well, you know, my first reaction... I'd be hysterical. Right. You know, because no part-time job is a great job. Let's be honest, right? Right. I'd be freaking out. Right. So my first selection was Freak Out by Avril Lavigne. Mm, good choice. Mm. Actually, um, I chose um a very similar choice. Uh-huh. Um, for me, too, like, I'd wake up, I'd be, like, freaking out and stuff. Uh-huh. And I would be like, OMG, oh my <laughs> gosh, like, what am I going to do to OMG? So, guys, the song I chose was OMG by Probably Usher. Probably a little bit more, you know. Explicit. But. Yeah, a little, a little more explicit, <laughs> but let's keep it at the OMG. But all right, guys, let's listen to our first song choices before we move on. Here are "Freak Out" by Avril Lavigne and "OMG" by Usher. What up, guys? Situation melody, maja maja. We're in the studio with Teo. We just listened to "Freak Out" by Avril Lavigne and "OMG" by Usher. And Teo, I heard you brought a survey result related to our situation for today. Of can course. You, can you tell us about it? Of course. It'd be my pleasure. Well, it is summertime, right? All schools are on break. Um, and so I thought, all right, a lot of college students travel abroad, no? Right, right. Yeah, do a lot of backpacking abroad um, or even in country. So I thought about when do you want to go backpacking or traveling abroad or just getting away? The right. most. What situations make you want to think, oh, I want to get out of here? Right. So, I had the top five here with us today. All right. Can you tell us number five? Number five, basically, when you get into an argument with your significant other. Mm. Especially if you're like a campus couple. Right. You know, like, it's just like campus news. Yeah, you know, it's not yeah, even yeah. gossip anymore. It's like news. <laughs> and so you're like, I want to get out of this situation. This is, oh, no. Right. Um, after that, number four. Uh, kind of a more stressful situation, you know? Mm -hmm. It's when people around me, everybody's working except me. Right. And you're just kind of like, what What am I doing? Right? I, I just need <laughs> to get out of here. Or um, it's kind of related. It's tied for number four. Is when you actually pass a really really hard exam you're just like you want to let everything go oh, right, just get right. out of here right, right. um I, i'm sure you felt that way as well yes i, I definitely have <laughs> yes <laughs> uh number three uh we have basically when you're working with right. somebody that you really don't like uh, you, you know nobody likes to be in that situation where you have to be with this person you got to get this project done right right or else you can't pass. Right. And that is, let's admit, you know, not a fun situation. Right. And you're just kind of thinking, why am I here with this person working? I don't <laughs> want to be. So you, you just kind of want to get out. Right. right, right? Of course. And uh, after that, number two. Whew. When you are working and going to school and just, you have so many things going on at the same time. You're just like, oh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I can definitely see where that's coming from. I'm sure yeah. everybody has, can relate to that one, yes. right? And number one. Number one is <clears throat> when you're worried about your future. Oh. I think that's a big one. I think, um, that, 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 I think that's probably the biggest one. Yeah, and I, I, I think it's pretty common right. for almost everybody. Not just in college, but even after college. I think uh, number one is right. actually more, more true after you graduate. Oh, yes. Because... Uh, especially if everybody around you is, you know, already working, they already right. have a secure job, and right. you're the only one just, just kind of floating around, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, not a good situation. What do you think? H have you had any of these situations? Or have you been in any of these situations? You know, um, I think I can honestly say I've been in um, maybe three or four of them. Mm -hmm. 
Number five, um, I went to like all guy school, so oh wow, there was nothing, <laughs> nothing going on there, guys. Um, <laughs> you know, I think four, I I could say, you know, like like you said, like after you finish like an exam and like you're really like worn out and stuff, like mm-hmm. you need to go away for a little bit. So you know, I, I I think I've been in that kind of situation before. And number three, um, you know, to be honest, I've never had like a part time job. Mm-hmm. Because you know I was too busy playing during summer break, <laughs> so like I'm not gonna lie, I haven't, I I've never had a summer job, so um, I can't really relate to this, but um, I mean I can relate to like how like at school you're like with someone you really don't like, and like uh-huh. you need to get out of that situation so yeah. you like walk away. Mm-hmm. I can I can I can see that I guess. And then number two, um, when you're like tired and stuff because you're working and you're a student, um, you know actually. Number two does not apply to me, guys, because I've never had a job while I, was, <laughs> while I was a student. But um, I think number one is definitely, like, the biggest thing. Like, definitely, like, if you're, like, confused and like, you don't know, really know what to do and, like, you have all this stuff, like, going through your head. Like, I think go- I think running away for a little bit and just, like, getting your Cooling thoughts down, together. Right? Yeah, I think that's, like, the best. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, um, Teo, have you ever had any of these five happen to you? Actually, I think I've had every single one happen to me. Really? <laughs> huh. um, you know, the biggest thing is... Uh, while I was in college, right, I I like to really stay busy, right. So um, number two applied to me the most, mm. and that's only when I had time to really think about it because I was going to school right. full time, and I I also had three part time jobs. Wow! And so I, I just really really like to stay busy. Right. That, that's just my thing. <laughs> Get as much experience as you can, right? Right. right, right. And so uh, <clears throat> I never really had time to think about it, but when I did have time to think about it, I would be like, I want to get out of here. Oh, uh, is there a place that like you recommend to our listeners that you've been to before? Or? Actually, I never had time to go. Oh, you never had time to go. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sad, right? Where, where, where would you like to go if you had the chance? Somewhere sunny. Sunny. Somewhere with water, Maui. sand, anywhere. <laughs> as long as it's warm with sand and water, I'm good. Yes, definitely. All right, guys, before we move on, here's our situation for today one more time. You saved up for months for a backpacking trip to another country. On the day of departure, you wake up at 9 o'clock, but your flight has already left at 9. Which song comes to mind? Here is our second battle. Teo, can you tell us which song you picked and why? Well, first, I'm freaking out, right? So all I right. got to calm myself down. So I'm just like, breathe, all right? You got to relax. Think right. about what you're going to do. So I picked... Breathe by Prodigy. Mm. The song I chose, guys, was um. Well, first I'd like be freaking out, I'd be like, "OMG, what am I gonna do?" Uh-huh. And then I'm not sure how you would say this in English, but in Korea they have this phrase "tebak." Mm-hmm. So I would wake up and be like, "OMG, hol tebakida, oh tebak, oh." So it's kind of like an expression, you know? Yeah. It's like a, Oh my goodness, you know, like exactly, yeah. And then you kind of multiply it that by ten. You're like, damn, oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, so I'd be like, first I'd be like, OMG, I woke up late. What am I gonna do? I'd be like, <laughs> and then I, I'd wake up. I'd be like, first I'd be like, I look at the clock, OMG, uh-huh. and I'd be like, damn, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> like what? So you know, the song I chose was Tebak Ya Bai, Tezong. All right, guys, here are the choices for our second round. Let's listen to the two songs we each pick before we come back. Here are Breathe by Prodigy and Tebagia by Tezong. What up, guys? You're listening to the second hour of Music Access on Monday. We're here with Teo on Situation Melody Maja Maja. We just came back from listening to Breathe by Prodigy and Tebagia by Tezong. Today's situation is you saved up for months for a backpacking trip to another country. On the day of departure, you wake up at 9 o'clock, but your flight has already left at 9. Which song comes to mind? Teo, it's time for our third and final round. Which song did you pick and why? All right, my third and final song is first I'm freaking out, then I'm like, breathe, because I gotta calm down and get everything in order. Right. My third song was, you know, I just wish I had a jetpack so I could just fly away and it doesn't right. matter whether I have to catch a flight or not. So I picked Jetpack. This is a Korean hip hop song featuring Seth Cobain and Busy. Uh, right. It's the Korean version by Drunken Tiger. Mm. The last song I chose for today was... Well, first, I'm not going to give out the title first, but first I'd be like, OMG, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. what am I going to do? And I'd be like, you know what? It, I'm already late anyways. Uh-huh. I might as well just go back to bed. Uh-huh. So the song I chose is Bed by Jay Holiday. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Here's our picks for the third and final round. Let's listen to these songs to see which one fits the situation better. 
Will announce the final winner after the song.